What's up guys, how you doing? Today we are going to start off the video by going to save one of my stranded friends on the side of the road who got a new car. I don't know what it is, he's been in the 240 market, so it might very well be a 240, but he won't tell me. All I know is he got the car and he's stuck on the side of the road. So I'm going to grab a bunch of the tools that I think will probably fix the car, but I don't know, I think it's electrical, so hope I can help. So in my survival kit, I have some waters because they've probably been sitting out in the sun stranded. I have some screwdrivers, flathead, Phillips, Needle nose for pulling fuses. I have a wire in case we have to jump fuses. I have a wire stripper. Uh, 10 through 14 mil crescent wrenches. And then I have my handy impact wrench ratchet driver sockets. So this is my rescue pack. I'm also going to steal a battery out of the S15 just in case it needs to be jumped because uh, I think their battery just might be shot because he said that he tried to get jumped and it didn't work. So hopefully that will solve it. I actually have plans that this is kind of messing up, but uh, I've been in this situation many times and I don't live too far away from where he's stranded so with all the people that have helped me out I feel like I owe it to karma to help someone else out. N54 power! Shift hand! ABS light! I gotta figure out why that's doing that. I think it's a speed sensor the ABS module. Hopefully it's a speed sensor. Oh homeboy got an S14! He says, thank you. I'm gonna pop the hood and you're gonna say there's your problem. Is it an RV? I hope it's not an RV. I hope it's not an RV. Ah! I told you! I told you. So I pulled out his battery. He says it's brand new. That's what the previous owner said. That's never the case. Start it up. Right now. Nope. No. Nah. Ah. Is there power to anything? Nothing. Like no lights or anything? So this car is wired kind of janky. They just got it and it, it's really weird. The, the power is just going straight to the starter and then everything's kind of coming off that. But we traced it out and for whatever reason, there's a bad connector in uh, this harness. Go turn and, the ignition on, bro. Yeah. Go turn it off, go turn it on. Yeah, go turn it on. But we're touching this wire to here and it's turning everything on, so. You hear that? We have hope. Yeah, where's that <laughs> connector? That the connector, the janky. connector fell down. No, yeah, one. yeah, oh, because underneath yeah, because when I grabbed it, the white wire just literally fell off of it. It wasn't even yeah, in like, there. Yeah, here. You just have to get it at the right spot. You know, it gets moody. You can like delete that, so you don't have to even push the clutch yeah, in. Yeah, I'll do that. That's how the Miata was. Make sure you're not in gear. You got past that. It's just like you're killing me, Smalls. This, this, I had it, I had it first try, but this is the best clip in the video right now. Don't kill the battery. Hey! Yeah. Finally. Dude, get this. Listen. You ready? How stoked are you? Incredible. <laughs> Barf. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> he said he got the car for 7,500, which isn't that bad of a deal. Apparently now the car isn't going in gear. He's gonna make it oh boy. Poor Barum. Bye. after I helped my friend Barum with his failing car was to go out to my friend Matt from Obsessed Garage's house and we were going to make a cool video together. Uh, but it got kind of late and we didn't really have enough daylight to do that. So I wound up not really filming much and just spending the afternoon with Nicole. So this is kind of like a two day video, but I'm stoked because I get to include the eclipse. If you're not from the States, I don't know that this is something that will necessarily be on your news. Maybe it will, maybe it's not. Basically, there's this band across the United States where the moon's gonna be blocking the sun, so we'll have a solar eclipse. It's not perfect solar eclipse here. I think it's like 75% or something in Florida, but either way, uh, I'm down to ruin a camera to get some shots of it. I don't think it'll ruin a camera though, to be honest. They say it will, but I don't think it will. Yeah, so do you remember what you were doing during that uh, great solar eclipse? Yeah, I was playing with RC cars on my wet ramp. So what? Alberto realized that we can actually scrub away this black stuff on the ramp when it's rained out. Which makes it way easier because we try to do this with a mop and it does nothing. I didn't think I had enough to get those glasses so we can look directly at the sun, but I do have a welding mask. 
So I can show you guys, it's, it's kind of cool, it just looks like a moon really right now. You can see right now though, like, it kind of looks like gloomy and weird out, and there's shadows that aren't normally there. I'll see if I can show you guys through this. So believe it or not, there's a crescent moon. I know you guys can't see it, but that little dot in the sky, that's what it is. The clouds are helping us, look at that. Does it show? Yeah, you can see it. I can't see it with my eyes, but I can see it with my camera. So that's actually the sun that you see. That's not the moon. It's crazy looking. Once in a while, you guys will send us packages, cool stuff. But this package from a subscriber named Matthew has to be one of my favorite things I've ever gotten. And I'm really excited to show you guys what it is. In a tremolo box. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be guitar related. Number one, he sends me extra strings. And I'm pretty sure this came the day after my strings broke, which is crazy. And I don't have strings yet. I actually ordered some off Amazon, but it's, it's really awesome because I'm in this phase right now where I'm enjoying playing guitar again. So having strings in case mine break will kind of help me going. And... A distortion pedal. I've always wanted one of these, but I've always just used like the preset like distortion on amps, which isn't as nice and crisp, I think, as the Boss DS1 pedals. He said it's something like diode modified too. Don't know what that means, but maybe it sounds better. An extra one of these, but my all time favorite thing that came in the box are these little picks. I've been using a floppy one that Nicole actually let me use that she got from a Kip Moore concert that he threw at her. On my birthday, just wait. I can't wait to hear you criticize my Taylor Swift picks I have. You have to, but are they actually from Taylor Swift? No. Didn't just, I? I they're, got. They're I got. You, I got you a set of Taylor Swift picks. I should have used those. You got me. Those? Yeah, I got you those picks as a gift. I thought they were from my concert experience. No, I got them for you. <laughs> These picks are kind of tough because I'm used to the smaller, stiffer picks. This one's kind of floppy, so. I'm so much more comfortable with these. They're just like way easier to, like, I don't know, maybe control it because they're small and pointy, but I'm, I'm insanely happy. So thank you, Matthew. It's not, it's not even the, the act of the gift. It's the fact that this is all stuff that just gets me more hyped on playing guitar. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go test it out right now. If you guys ever send us stuff, I can't promise that it'll make it into a video, but if for some reason there's something you wanna share with us, I'll put an address in the description that you guys can use. I wanna like show you guys how good this pedal sounds with a little riff that I came up with last night. And this is what I mean by like being able to pick faster. I can also do a thing that's called, uh, I think it's called like sweeping, which is really fun and I like to do. I'm not really good at it, but I'm trying to practice.